there guys this is faithful with elegance for less thank you so much for joining me again today i am excited to share with you three quick easy inexpensive beautiful mother's day gift ideas now these home decor can be for your mother for your daughter or for your own home so the first one we're going to do is a mirror box and i want to use this mirror box as a planter for our flowers so you will need those three i had these already and i purchased them during springtime that i was doing those spring decor so i want to incorporate them not sure how yet but let's keep that aside you will need five of the mirrors now these are five dollar tree mirrors you don't have to go with five you can go with four and use cardboard or foam board for the bottom but i decided i was going to go with the five you will need some form of gems you can use the diamond wrap or you can use these that i hauled from hobby lobby and you're going to need a card I hauled this from the Dollar Tree I liked it it says for my lovely mother on Mother's Day it has a little bow and I think that will be very cute you'll need a little bird I'm thinking I may go with this Dollar Tree bird it has a little pink there which is perfect and I think it will be cute so we'll see how it works you'll need your glue gun glue sticks and scissors I'm thinking I would like to have legs on these. So I have these little blocks that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to see how well these will work as legs onto this. So let's jump mirror right box. in and start to put together our mirror box. So the first thing I want to do is line my mirror up, make sure they're lined up properly. Lay your glue down and you will have to do a generous amount of glue so you can hold this together and because this is a tutorial I'm going with my regular glue but I would suggest that you would use your E6000 something that's pretty strong as well as um, the Gorilla Glue has something that's an adhesive that's strong as well. So you can choose what you want to do. Want to hold it in place and then I do want to go I think I'm able to get inside just like that I'm going to go around and fill in the last my area. mirror and I want to go ahead and show you how I'm going to achieve adding the last one so I want to come down with a generous amount of glue So guys, I have this tape that I hauled from Joanne's Fabric and I believe it will go really well with my card. So I decided instead of just using my strips of uh, gems, I would incorporate my tape as well. So what I want to do is take the tape, add a dab of glue,
now that this is finished, I add the gems to it and love the way that that look. Now I went ahead and add my foam inside as well. And I want to start adding my flowers. I want to take the large ones. I want to put in the center. And I'm going mostly on the outside to fill in and then I'll come back to the middle. So I have the large flower in the middle and now I'm going to fill in the outside. I went ahead and add the purple flowers inside into the center. And I love the way that that looked. I think it turned out really nice. Now I want to go ahead and take my card. And it comes with an adhesive on the back. But I think I would like to add some more glue, especially to the end. I'm going to find my center in here. And just press. So guys, this next DIY I am absolutely thrilled to do. When I saw it in the Dollar Tree, I knew I wanted to do something with it and I thought it would be perfect for Mother's Day. And so, or even for the summer, if you want to buy a few of these and create them for your home. Now, I think this is a creative idea to incorporate these pillows in a throw pillow for your home. So what you will need is four pillows of your choice. You will need a pin, which I hauled from Walmart and it was $2.98. You'll also need ribbons. So these are the Dollar Tree pillows, fur pillows. I will say, let's go ahead and remove all our tags. You will also need to have your glue gun and your glue sticks. This is not going to be sewing. <laughs> but if it is a gift for someone else or even in your home permanently, I would suggest you go ahead and use E6000 or you would sew it by hand. I am not a sewer at all, so I glue everything or iron on everything. So I'm removing my tag.
How adorable is that? I think that is very sweet. I love the way that that look. So if you want to leave it just like that, I went ahead and put a bow in there just so that it's adorable. This is perfect for a woman's room or a closet. I love, love, love your retreat area. So if you want to leave it that way, you can, but I am going to add the button that I purchased. So I'm going to put a generous amount of glue in the center of the bow. And then I'm going to add my button. Okay guys, so this next DIY is going to be a three tier dessert holder or cake holder. And so what you will need is one of the tea light holder, four in a pack. You'll need three cutting boards, your choice. I'm going with two square and one circle. And I love what it says. It says, home is where the family gathers. And I know that is so true in our home. I love Sunday evenings with our family. You'll need three candle sticks and you'll need some form of trimming. I'm going with this one that I hauled from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99. You can use a coupon on it if you'd like to as well. Then you'll need your glue gun, glue sticks, and scissors. Let's jump in. What to do now DIY. is go ahead and take my tea light holder, flip it over, take my candlestick, and add a generous amount of glue. Now it's glued on, but I must tell you, I removed the bottom because it wasn't stable enough, this other tea light holder, so I removed that. Now, what I'd like to do is start to add the trimming. So I'm gonna start in one corner, lay some glue down, and I trimmed it down and took the red because I love the idea of red and pink for Mother's Day. So I'm going to go with the red. Just like that. Three DIYs so that I did for you today for Mother's Day. If you do, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time, your support, and I look forward to your Let me know if these are three gifts that you would create for yourself or even for your mother. I thank you so much, and I will see you on my next DIY.